This video is on regulation of body temperature. What we are concerned is about the internal body temperature or the body temperature of the core which is maintained at 37 degrees Celsius. The core body temperature is at 37 degrees Celsius. It is lowest at 6 a.m. in the morning and highest between 4 to 6 p.m. in the evening. Body temperature is regulated by central and peripheral thermosensors. The central thermosensors are located in the hypothalamus, in the region of the brain called the hypothalamus. In the hypothalamus, they are located in the pre-optic area. Hypothalamus and in the pre-optic area. They detect warmth and tonically fire thereby maintaining internal body temperature. They detect warmth and tonically fire thereby maintaining internal body temperature. Then there are warm sensors in the skin which detect temperature between 30 and 45 degrees Celsius. And cold sensors in the skin which detect temperature up to 10 degrees Celsius. And they also help in maintaining the internal body temperature. What we are concerned about is what happens when the body temperature increases or decreases. When the body temperature increases or decreases. When the body temperature increases, there is activation of mechanisms for the loss of heat. Activation of mechanisms for the loss of heat. Which are these mechanisms? These mechanisms include an inhibition of the sympathetic nervous system inhibition of the sympathetic nervous system which results in cutaneous vasodilation blood vessels of the skin dilate and there is loss of heat by evaporation is augmented by NO or nitric oxide, there are stores of nitric oxide in the skin. And there is stimulation of sympathetic cholinergic fibers or sympathetic vasodilator fibers. A division of the sympathetic nervous system and it stimulates the sweat glands to result in sweating. Finally, there are behavioral responses like putting on a fan, AC, removing clothes and so on. So, inhibition of the sympathetic nervous system, activation of the sympathetic cholinergic fibers and behavioral responses are mechanisms for loss of heat. Mechanisms for gain of heat. Mechanisms for the gain of the heat are naturally going to be opposite. So, there is, you guessed it right, activation of the sympathetic nervous system which causes cutaneous vasoconstriction resulting in shivering. Cutaneous vasoconstriction resulting in shivering. Decrease activation of beta-3 adrenal receptors. The sympathetic receptors are of two types, alpha and beta, alpha R, alpha 1, alpha R, alpha 2, beta R, beta 1, beta 2, beta 3. So, activation of thermogenin a protein or it is also known as uncoupling protein 1 UCP1 which causes liberation of heat from mitochondria this is called as non-shivering thermogenesis non-shivering thermogenesis is mediated by thermogenin or uncoupling protein UCP1 and finally, there are behavioral mechanisms like putting on a sweater. Thank you. I am Dr. Swapnil 
and this is an overview of regulation of body temperature